discovery in Lake Superior almost 100 years ago to the day. The Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society says two large vessels, the Huronton and the Cetus, were traveling toward each other on Lake Huron in October of 1923 in heavy fog and smoke from forest fires. The two collided and the Cetus ripped a hole in the Huronton. The captain of the Cetus was able to plug that hole and get the crew of the Huronton aboard, even saving the crew's mascot, a bulldog. Today, the Huronton sits 800 feet below the surface, very, very deep. And these photos are the first time a human has seen the vessel in a century. Pretty, pretty cool. The Grand Rapids Public Museum will be starting a $50 million expansion this fall, and it is the first major renovation since it opened at this location in 1994. The City Commission approved the plan, work expected to last about two years. The design will use the museum's riverfront, linking a seven and a half mile urban trail to other prominent trails, adding a living roof and a geological rock wall. The museum says the number of visitors has increased almost 300 percent in the last decade. This expansion will double its capacity. Capacity. We have an official Michigan State Christmas tree. Vic Ruppert in Onaway donated the 60-foot spruce in his yard in honor of his late wife, Shirley. It is still standing right now, but once crews cut it down on October 26th, it'll begin its more than 200-mile trek to the Capitol lawn in Lansing to be hoisted in place on October 28th. Now, the state started this tradition in 1987. This is the first state Christmas tree from Presque Isle County in northern Michigan and just the 13th from the Lower Peninsula. The tree will be lit November 17th during Lansing's Silver Bells in the City celebration. Well, October, of course, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the time to break out the pink for certain, but also to raise money and awareness. Bud and Stanley's Pub in Grand Rapids is hosting the Save a Rack fundraiser Saturday from 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. 100% of the proceeds and tips from that event are going to the Breast Health and Wellness Center in Grand Rapids. There'll also be a raffle, silent auction, and drink specials. Bud and Stanley's owner, Lori Kelville, is a breast cancer survivor. Well, destination wedding is pretty popular. You know, heading to Europe, the Caribbean, a McDonald's in Michigan. Yeah, Mike and Kathy Haller from Munich, Germany. And last weekend, that couple tied the knot at the fast food restaurant in Crosswell. They are world travelers and clearly McDonald's mega fans. And their goal was to have the ultimate United States wedding day. Don't know what that's saying about that, but newlyweds shared a cheeseburger, fries, chicken McNuggets, and Cokes rolling up in a McDonald's Ford Mustang. And Grimace, of course, made an appearance there as well. They do plan to head to see more Americana across the Midwest and Northeast, including a stop in Washington, D.C.